Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing well. I just felt like doing a good old past, present, future and see what comes through, see what comes out, what messages Spirit has for you today. So maybe there's something about going back to uh, the beginning with something or going back to the traditional or what's already studying something that's already held a lot of weight for a long time for some of you like there's some foundation here that is essential for you to explore uh, so that you can build upon it or maybe even shift it and break and change that foundation but it's like first you need to know the foundation it's like know the foundation so that you can decide what you want to do with it because you're standing on it anyways you're standing on a foundation of something so you have to know what that is interesting if you're going to build a house on something you want to make sure that the foundation was laid correctly. Okay, this is all a metaphor. So there's something here about foundations and like really understanding whether like you're building on the right thing. I'm just gonna light this Palo Santo up just to clear the, some energy. Not that I don't feel like you need to clear some energy. I just, I don't know. There's something about maybe a routine or slowing down with something that could also be significant wow okay there's more energy coming through than i thought there was going to be okay so let's see collective i'm just i'm gonna put them face down use a few different decks here so let's see past present future for collective feel like now this is like the smoke's kind of bothering me which is a message hold on I can't get away from it interesting okay so I think there's something about discipline here being disciplined and understanding that Sometimes we take actions or we do things or we have to do things um, in order to set a foundation or understand a foundation or to continue to build. And it doesn't always feel like the best use of time. It, it doesn't always feel like a dopamine hit, like a rush of joy. Sometimes it's banal, sometimes it's boring, sometimes it's difficult, sometimes it's um, strenuous what we have to do or what we're called to do, but it's necessary. And this isn't a blanket statement about all things, 303, maybe you're seeing the number three, uh, but there's something in particular where it's like there's a little bit of a grind to it, okay? And it's necessary, it's needed. This is about discipline, patience, um, giving something focus and time and energy that it needs. Even if in the moment it feels like, ah, oh, I'd rather be like drinking a pina colada on the beach somewhere or something like that, you know, or I'd rather be doing this. But you need focus here. I don't know what this is about for everyone. If this message doesn't resonate, that's okay. You can come back to it. A lot of people have been commenting on older videos um, that they're really resonating now. So my readings are timeless. Energy is fluid. Time is a spiral. So if you feel guided to watch something from a while ago, then watch it by all means. Uh, something's popping up on your feed. Maybe that's like an old reading of mine. Maybe there's a message in there for you. Okay, so it's okay to watch those older videos and sometimes they're exactly what we need in the moment. When I go back to the older readings, I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, so let's get some more cards here. Something about foundations, the past. Okay, past. Nope. What was that? Mm. Let's see, spirit. Spirit. Three more. The past. I'm getting something like you already know what's in the past, so it's no surprise. 
present, future. And let's get a couple more cards here. Let's see what we get. Mm. Mm. Okay. In the past, we have Neptune. Okay, this is a breakthrough in your consciousness. This is... And I'm looking at my mug here, which looks like a little matrix here, but it's all wonky. So it's like understanding that something isn't what it seems with Neptune. Realizing that there's like a grid. I'm hearing a grid of intelligence. That's interesting. <laughs> a grid of intelligence that you can see. I don't know what that means exactly, but there's like something in the past that you saw that you didn't originally see, and it kind of shifted your perspective. It opened your mind to receive information uh, and to know that there's more than what had been or what it, hold on, to know that there was more than meets the eye when that you were seeing at the time. You know, this coming out like very clunky. Maybe there was something that was like, yeah, wonky, clunky. It just wasn't smooth. It wasn't flowing. And this is what alerted you. It tipped you off to a new reality that there's a different reality that's happening that you need to be a part of. There's also something here about like you saw something very specific. It could have been an expression that somebody made in their face. It could have been a behavior. It could have been a piece of information, but there was something very specific and it was like a drop of gold. I'm, I'm hearing and I'm like seeing this drop of gold in like a pool of water. It's just like rippling outwards. Yeah, this is the distortion, right? Okay, so the, <laughs> the drop of gold like showed you that the water... Um, how do I say that? That the reality that you were in was subject to change. It was a little bit of an illusion. There was some mirroring effect. Oh, oh, there's so much. I'm sorry, guys, but it's coming through like this. Um, I'll try to put it all together. <laughs> somebody could have been mirroring you or somebody was mirroring something. There was an illusion, okay? There's the drop of water. There was an illusion. Uh, but there's something specific spirit was taking me back to, like that you saw. And it was like a gift for you to see this. It was no accident that you saw this. It's like a, like a shimmer, like a in the mirage, you know? You suddenly realize, hey, what I'm looking at is not what I think it is. I see something now. I'm going to get some charms here. We have um, intelligent. Whoa. Gemini with um, intelligent at the bottom. Grid of intelligence. Maybe somebody's intelligence like started to falter or something like that. Interesting. We have X. Maybe this is about your X. I don't know. Let's see. A purse. Okay. I'm hearing something about um, coach. I, I'm not into that whole thing but that's what I was hearing and then we have a crown we have T the letter T a peach uh, could be something about Georgia we have the letter S uh, like a cross here but it, it's remind me of the four directions a Sun a music note Libra a saxophone. Maybe it was something you heard in music that tipped you off to something. It's interesting because I decided I didn't want to play any kind of like chill vibe music. I just kind of wanted the silence and the ticking of the clock. There's something about the silence and the clock that makes the energy feel like it is in between time, that the energy is timeless. So there's something about silence that is making something seem timeless or it could make something seem timeless. The letter K, maybe that's a metaphor. Handcuffs, 
and a mushroom here. The, yeah, there was something unseen. Okay, let's keep going. What other cards do we have here? Garden of Venus, rest and renewal. And the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. There's that drop in the water rippling out. I feel like in the past, there was a, a depletion of some kind of resource. And what once seemed like an opportunity was turning into a um, liability or a detriment of some sort. Something had outwelcomed its stay as well. We have the Nightingale in reverse, the Seven of Swords in reverse, and the Shark. Definitely someone <laughs> or something was no longer welcome in your energy field. Maybe this was decided by your guide, spirit, or even yourself. But there was something about the tune that was being sung. This could even be like a job or society that you could see through now. The illusion. You could see through Neptune, Seven of Swords in Reverse. The illusion based on the song that they were singing. And we got all that stuff about music here. There was a predatory aspect about something that was going on back there. Somebody could have also tried to create some fear in order to maintain some kind of grid of intelligence or some um, illusion. Perhaps they made themselves uh, a threat to you in some way. I, I know this is getting specific but with the king of pentacles and the nine of swords and the shark it's almost like this king of pentacles is holding something down by feeding or fueling uh anxiety and this could even be like in a work context right where anxiety carrot dangling that kind of thing was being reproduced over and over again to create a sense of like tension or like self-consciousness feeling not good enough so that you would keep working harder without reward or it could have been in a relationship there's family anything really okay i think that's enough of that but there was something maybe that was promised with the garden of venus and the ace of pentacles that was never delivered but it wasn't that it wasn't the lack of delivery that tipped you off it was something else And I feel like Scorpion, I feel like you didn't wait around to see if it was going to be delivered or not. I'm hearing UPS. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe this is like you got an alert that there was something off here. It, hold on. What's the, there's some weird metaphor coming in about the seller. It's like something the seller said, this is just a metaphor, something the seller said in your communication like raised a, a red flag or gave you some kind of intuition that the package was never going to be delivered so you didn't bother calling UPS or waiting around for it. I don't know, guys. That's what's coming through. Maybe I won't post this reading. <laughs> this is kind of a weird one, huh? Okay, let's go on to the... We'll see how it goes. Um present moment gold oh there's the drop of gold okay so in the present see it's like the the drop of gold is what shattered the illusion so the drop of gold is in your present reality it's your awareness it's your enlightenment it's your intelligence watchers transpersonal whoa uh 
and justice, guys. <laughs> um, whatever this was back here, they were either blocked or they didn't get away with something, the handcuffs. Because you listened here to your intuition or you caught that sliver glimmer of whatever that spirit showed you with the watchers transpersonal and justice like spirit gave you it was gold that they gave you and you still have that gold which is your awareness it's your awareness for sure the transpersonal watchers card talks about being an observer like kind of taking a step back from the situation and viewing something objectively or seeing how uh, your subjective perception is uh, creating a certain reality that maybe doesn't serve you. Okay, so this is about you now taking a step back and looking at something maybe in the past or maybe thinking about your future from a uh, less triggered or complex or emotional way and seeing the justice in what happened or what... Um, the justice that you are now having, something like that. Hold on, let's get a little bit more. Justice. The current moment is about karmic balance, rebalancing, justice. And like you getting it for yourself, the alligator. Yeah, it's like the alligator, the shark, whoever this was, it's like skirt, you skirted that issue or like you broke free from it. You broke out of the illusion. Another scale of justice, three keys here. Mm -hmm. uh, a lighthouse, the letter O, a rooster, a key, another key, four keys, uh, a hand with a heart, a crown, a chess piece, which I think this is the queen. We have the letter V, the letter I. I'm hearing O V. Well, it's here, but I'm hearing O V I. I don't know what that is. Uh, five five five, and a fish skeleton. Let's pull some more cards here. What are we saying? With the present. Wow! 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 Oh my goodness! <laughs> Page of Swords, the Whale, and Raccoon in in reverse. Whoever was up to the trickery, and again, this can be society in general. But like whatever trickery was underway, cleverness, sneakiness, something kind of going in the night, getting things, organi organizing things, I'm hearing for a particular outcome, you saw this. And the, the way you saw this is you went deep with the whale card. You went deep within yourself or deep into a situation, deep into the observer role, um, really removing yourself from fear in order to get a handle on your inner wisdom and what it was telling you to do and what it was telling you the truth was. Yeah, I felt like guided to touch my ear there. Maybe you heard some, well, you did, you heard something. So this is your present moment, is you're trusting and listening to your deep wisdom, to your whale song. Interesting, so whales, um, can identify other whales in their pod by the sounds they make like they're very unique and they can hear them from miles and miles away and I feel like this is maybe you connecting to people you resonate with and understanding what makes you resonate with someone and what doesn't and if you're resonating from a place of your like our higher selves are resonating or whether it's our shadow that resonates with one another you know, because that can happen too. You can resonate with someone's shadow for sure. And sometimes that's okay if, if you're conscious of it. But other times you're unconscious that you're connecting to someone because of trauma, maybe a trauma bond, or you're connecting to a certain societal idea because there's fear around something and this idea helps you um, cope with the fear, you know, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> something maybe never ending. Yeah. Um, I'm hearing the never ending spiral of fear that somebody maybe was creating with the shark, the raccoon in, in reverse, seven of swords. And you broke out of this. 
but you can trust your whale song. And you've seen something so deep. It's like so magical. I feel like I'm having trouble getting to it though. Let me take a look at the gold card and see what she says in here. I'll put all the cards that I've used in the description box below. Illumination, splen splendor, culmination. The alchemist's gold is no ordinary gold. It is not found in rings or coins or necklaces. It is a substance buried deep within, sometimes referred to as gold of the wise. <laughs> yeah, the whale there. Philosophic gold, the ethereal stone, or the divine quintessence. Quinta quintessence. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Among countless other names, for our purposes we seek not the physical metal, but the mystical essence within each alchemist. How do we recognize it? It mimics qualities of the metal itself, soft and radiant, and its planetary counterpart, the sun, warm and bright. It's no wonder gold is associated with the heart. When this card arrives, there is something of incredible value at hand. It is marvelous and rare. Cherish it. Get to know its properties and its source. The gold card carries a distinct shadow. If mistaken for a purely physical material, it can lead to greed and excess, causing the alchemist to lose their way. Reverence is the key. So Spirit's saying you've been gifted gold, but this gold isn't something that can be measured in material abundance, although you're probably receiving that too now. This is the justice of being familiar with your deep inner knowing and being able to resonate with the truth that resides within you and the truths of others that you connect to with your soul and having the ability now to distinguish from shadow, trickery, predatory behavior, and what is good for your highest self. So you are definitely going through an awakening 555 with the watchers. And I feel like well, this is um, number four, fourth house. This is foundational to your um, subconscious patterning. The fourth house is a card of home, but it's also where our subconscious begins to develop and gets molded and shaped as well as our conscious. It's the house of the moon, of the mother. So there's something about the way that your mind works now or how you perceive yourself and even the way that your shadow operates that has transcended some difficult situation by transmuting um, illusion into truth and reality. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. Take it or leave it. I mean, I'd take it. Okay, uh, the future. Pluto, whoa, <laughs> transformation. I mean, meeting Pluto with gold, wow. And look at the this person's hand here, dropping gold, dropping bars of gold. Maybe you're dropping wisdom here. That's powerful. Dragon's Horde, protecting the future in your future position. And we have 22 here, 12 and 10. And then two, another two, two of cups. And daughter of pentacles. Well, in the future, you're learning how to protect the future. And you're also going to understand that something you're doing in the present moment um, got you to where you needed to be. And where you're going to be is a place of radical, radical transformation. This could, I feel like this is mostly internal transformation, but when we have internal transformation, transmutation, inevitably things change in our life as within, so without. So the changes that you're experiencing within are definitely going to be reflected around you. And so when we ascend and our consciousness expands and we learn new things and we go through experiences and we heal we can see things happening shifting in our external reality and we can feel like oh no what's happening now i did all this inner work and now i'm like this thing is happening that's like difficult and i don't want this to change but it's a reflection of the growth inside 
So those things need to change. For example, if you have to move or you suddenly have a career change or something happens that's like drastic in your external reality, it's a reflection of your growth. You've outgrown that situation. There's something more. And you need to outgrow that situation to protect your future, to protect a union that is meant for you, maybe with someone else or maybe a union with an aspect of yourself. I feel like this is your present self and your future self um, coalescing. Like you're really on the same wavelength. How do I say that? Like your past self had a lot to learn here and went through some pretty serious stuff. And in your present moment, you're learning about this. You're accessing your deep wisdom. And it's like your future self couldn't be what it's going to be without the way you're being now <laughs> okay so even if how you're being now is difficult and you feel like you're struggling it's transformation it's transmutation it's getting you to this place where your future and your future connections are protected and your relationships are going to radically change for the better and you'll know this too like your future self is going to look back at this time and being, be like, wow, I didn't see what this was all about. I knew I was going through something, but man, now I understand what that was all about because here I am. So your future is protected, collective, really need you to know that, <laughs> okay? No matter the big transformations that happened around you, it's bringing you closer to what truly resonates with your heart. And it's opening up your world to learn more, to discover more of who you are and what the world has to offer. Amazing. I love this reading. <laughs> okay. Maybe we should get a closing card. Mm. I don't know why I'm being guided to do this, but I have the Signs and Symbols book here. We'll just flip to a random symbol that could resonate with you, or maybe it's a clue about something. Garnet. Okay. Although the garnet can be transparent, green, yellow, orange, ultraviolet, brown, and black, although not blue, it is the red garnet, which is the best known because it is, it generally has a rich dark color similar to that of blood. The garnet has long been associated with this vital liquid and is said to be effectious in treating bleeding wood. Oh my God, I can't read today. <laughs> in treating bleeding wo wounds, blood, disease, and hemorrhages. I feel like I, I need to do those. Like, what do those actors do where they like warm up their their mouths they do all that thing i can't do okay it was used as a protective talisman by soldiers from the crusades onwards set into sword hilts and shields the name garnet comes from pomegranate Indeed, the jewel does look similar to the sparkling seed of this fruit and is similarly associated with the fertility of the womb. As well as being able to heal wounds, garnet is also believed to be able to inflict mortal wounds on the enemy. I think this is what's happened. Okay, you've healed from a wound and you've also inflicted some reality into someone's illusion you've yeah and that may be experienced as a wound by them uh i don't want to go into that that's just history stuff yeah i feel like you're kind of delivering a fatal blow to some illusion matrix that somebody or something had you in or wanted you to be a part of. So maybe garnet is a stone that you could surround yourself with or that calls to you. And so pay attention to that. All right, collective. I'm going to go and not talk probably for at least maybe 15 minutes. <laughs> I'll probably be talking all day. 
But uh, yeah, I'm going to go rest my voice. And maybe this is a message here. It's time to rest your voice. You've said enough with this, you know. All right. I love you guys so much. I'll see you next time.